Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. Today, God's Word gives us a little bit of parenting advice or grandparenting, or if you're an aunt or an uncle, here's what the verse is, and then let's talk about what it means. Proverbs 29, verse 15 says this, to discipline a child produces wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. I think this is a really interesting verse because kind of the spirit of the age in our culture, at least in many households, is this idea of just, you know, tell your kids to follow their heart, to be whoever they are, and let them do whatever they want to do. Now, the reality is that if I was raised that way, I'd, I'd be a pretty broken person. We actually need constraint and guidance, and that's what discipline is all about. It's not about punishment. It's about directing a person on the course that will best serve them, teaching them that they need to get up at a certain time and they need to brush their teeth. They need to think about how their decisions affect others. This is what discipline encompasses. It's really teaching a person to live a successful life. And the point of the verse is this. Think about this. This was written thousands of years ago. If you don't discipline your children at all, they'll grow up and they'll be so irresponsible, they'll be so self-centered, they'll be so selfish that it'll disgrace you and your relationship will be a mess because they are just used to doing whatever they want. On the other hand, if you discipline them, not in a cruel way, not in an angry way, but in a loving way that guides them into choices and habits that make them a successful person, well, that is going to produce wisdom in their lives. And of course, having them read the book of Proverbs once they're old enough to read, probably one of the best ways to guide them. That's what I do for my kids when they get to reading age. I actually pay them a dollar a day to read this book of Proverbs, but here's how it works. They only get their $30 in a month if they read it for 30 days without missing a day. They have to write down in their journal a little bit about each proverb. If they miss a day, they don't get the 30. If they do all 30 days without missing one, they get the $30. And I have to say this, uh, with my oldest, who's now been doing this for a couple years, he's got a lot of these proverbs memorized and it is starting to affect the way he works, the way he studies, the way he interacts with his friends. And I would just encourage you as a parent, if you're a grandparent, these are things you pass on to those parents beneath you. Uh, let's be people who lovingly discipline those we get to have influence on so that they can live lives of freedom and success. I'll see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.